Please don't hate us, and specifically, please don't hate me. I know we missed a week. I made a mess of the recording, and my brain was not in a place to fix it. And basically, in code for it, I was being lazy and couldn't be bothered. This week's show is also a week, a day late, not a week late, because there was very, something very specific that happened in the world of content creation, celebrity stuff on Sunday evening, wasn't there, Dan? Yes, just, just just a little thing, just a little thing. It wasn't big, it wasn't massive. Exactly, it wasn't massive, no, but the people taking part in it were. But we are back with another Aspect Ratio where we discuss all things content creation, and by we, I mean me and he. He, of course, being Dan, who you just heard a second ago. How's your week been, buddy? Or how's your fortnight been since we didn't release the show last week? I <laughs> 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 Oh, but did, well, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Well, you, didn't, you didn't actually release the... Uh, no, I didn't. My, my brain just said, nah, don't, just don't yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's been really... I mean, like I said, it's been really good. I can't remember what I did last week now. Um, I know <laughs> I was busy, like, walking. I, I was doing stuff. I, I just can't remember what I was doing. I did things. <laughs> yeah, I, I did things. That's all we <laughs> at, at best, I know I had food. I mean, um, yes, if you hadn't, I would imagine you probably wouldn't be here recording this week's episode. Yeah, I, I, know, I know that. And I know this week, I want to murder my sister. Oh, this. okay. Well, I mean, we've we've gone before about how I'm like the, the, the murderer of the pair of us. So what, why are you committing murder this week? What's your sister done? Uh, or, no, or not done? It was, it's what you has, it's what you did do. Okay. So uh, I was all ready for a chill Friday. And I mean Chill Friday because that's when Diablo, uh, the Diablo 3 season started. The last season of Diablo 3, which I'll get into later in the game section. Okay. Right. But anyway, it's, it, was meant to start, it was meant to start at 4. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call for at 12. Okay. From my, from my mother asking if I could meet them in town because she's meeting, meeting my sister to give, give her some stuff that she ordered. And uh, to see if she wanted a copy. So I went, yeah, I've got time. I've got time. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. So I go up there. I, we, I, I meet my mother. Uh, I'm, I'm, she's there around about half twelve. I'm there about quarter past. Uh, and then we go upstairs. We have coffee. We have a nice little meal at, uh, at Wilkinson's Calf, which, by the way, I'm going to adopt myself early. You can find me at around ten at between ten thirty and twelve on every Tuesday. <laughs> every Tuesday. So is that where you normally go for a coffee? Are you or are you a, are where, you a bigger yeah, yeah. chain? Because no, I'm a big chain for a coffee, I must admit. That, that's where I normally meet, uh, meet my mother for a coffee, because my mother likes um, okay. these mil mil milky coffees, as she calls them, frothy coffees. Uh, a frothy coffee, um, that's fair. Yeah. yeah so, well, she's not she, wrong. She, yeah, she's not wrong, because literally on the sign it's called a frothy coffee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's what they call them, damn it. Yeah, but um, yeah, she, lo she, she loves them, so um, I take every Tuesday we go out and we have a coffee there. Mm -hmm. Um uh, and then I also buy her. I also buy her dinner, which, to be honest, ha, ha, the food there is really went really downhill. But it's still it's still food. Okay. Downhill food is never good food. Yes, I know. For example, they did beautiful pies, Dixon's pies. <laughs> I have they no idea Dixon's. what a Dixon's pie is. Oh, uh, basically, basically, do all these massive square pies that they do in big, massive like f family of four. Type the pies. one that makes me feel like a family of four because I can eat a whole one to myself. Yes. <laughs> Basically, it's like a corner of that. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's like really lovely, but for some reason, they, they, they pile the most obnoxious amount of pepper on it. <laughs> of all the things to be disgusted by, they put too much pepper on my pie. <laughs> oh, yeah, because all I can taste is pepper and not pie. I don't I think I've ever pie. heard you sound so upper middle class in my life. <laughs> Because you're just not. You're not an upper middle class person at all. I have friends who are upper middle class. Uh, even they would scoff at you right now. <laughs> There's too much pepper on my pie! I feel like that. I feel like um, it was with the story when the when the MPs in Westminster will complain that their jam roly polies were too soggy. <laughs> There's too much pepper on my pie, and this roly poly is just too soggy. <laughs> it liked me uh, now. <laughs> it was an obnoxious amount of pepper, and all I could taste was pepper. I couldn't taste the pie. Uh, it is, but I yeah. still ate it because it was lovely. Good, um, and, it, and it was a pie. You didn't never leave pie. A pie cannot be in it. any form. Doesn't matter if it's a dessert pie, a dinner pie, a breakfast pie, which, by the way, are a thing and are delightful. Um, yes. Any form of but pie anyway. needs to be consumed. Exactly. Um, but anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, my sister. Uh, yes. <laughs> Or I got on a tangent. Did she? Is she the one who put the pepper on your pie? Is that why you're angry at her? 
No, no, this happened. This happened ages ago. Oh, okay. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. We are now waiting for my sister. Okay. Right. One o'clock goes by. Half one goes by. She texts. I'm just got on the bus. Yeah, uh, one of those. Yeah. So there's always one member of a friend group or family. Another fifteen minutes go by. I'm like, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I'm going to grab us a coffee. Mm-hmm. Another coffee. So I will grab us well, sit back and about three seconds into this coffee, sister woke up. <laughs> Right. And I did go, oh, did okay, you get one for me? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is where she comes out and goes. I was, I was just like, oh, well, she, she's been wait- apparently she's been waiting downstairs five for five minutes, oh. waiting for us to come out. Oh, what a shame! I'm just like, and she didn't even tell us she was in town. What a shame! Yeah, I'd be uh, like, well, now take, you've been waiting so long, standing outside. Come and sit down, take a load off while we have our coffee. <laughs> uh, well, it's all right. Fant- uh, that's not that's not what I was annoyed about well, for. Oh, the okay. The annoying part was about, about, uh, about, about, about English. Just, I'm, I'm so annoyed at this. Hep, 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 hep. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Anyway, what was it? Yeah, that one. Um, I've lost trail of thought. God damn it! So she she had been waiting downstairs for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, she came. She, came, she, she, she we texted her to come up. Right, I sat down with the coffees. She was like, um, and she was like, oh, by the way, I can't stay in town long because I've got to be back by half two. It's like it's two o'clock now. You just got here. <laughs> yeah, it was literally two o'clock. I have literally just bought coffees. <laughs> it's gonna take half an hour to consume is. those. Right, so we had to leave the coffees. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, which bear in mind is about what three quid each. Yeah. Uh, I'd have been, uh, I'd have been straight up to the counter going, can you put this in a takeaway cup, please, so I can throw it at my sister. Mm. Right, so, and then, well, like I said, she didn't, she, she didn't even leave Wilkinson's before she took, before she got what she wanted and then left. Uh, just, just why? Yeah. I, I, uh, I can't, I hate, like, I was saying that I don't hate sitting waiting for people because I appreciate some people will be running late. It's when people are then running late and then all the emphasis is put on you to change your approach to what you're doing. I'm like, right, yeah. I, I was late, but now we have to rush and do it. It's like, nah. Well, <laughs> no. Well, no, when, when she came, when she came up, she was like, oh, I didn't even got a spirit. I didn't got any a, a change of a tenner. Right? No, no, I don't. I can go get change. <laughs> like I can change it for another tenner. That counts. Yeah, I could actually. Yeah. <laughs> right, and she goes, and she goes, and she goes, yeah, that's fine. So while they were upstairs sorting out what they didn't, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I took my niece, I kidnapped my niece, and <laughs> went downstairs, and I got us both a uh, drink of pop. Fair. Right? Yeah. Bear in mind, the lines for the fucking dills <laughs> were terrible. But not the self-checkout one. God forbid people stay away from those. No, no, never, never use self-checkout. No, no, that's how Terminator starts. Right? If I uh, believe me, if I want to just pay for these bottles of car, I could just walk to the self checkout, wait, go go to the random beep, and off I go. Yes, but no, I had to wait twenty minutes in a queue to buy two bottles of pop so I could change the tenner so she can get five pound coins. No, I, I I would have just said sorry, you're not getting change of a tenner, sis. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely at this point I'd have been like, nah, she's ruined my day. It was. Uh, never, never and let, even, and never and let and other people influence even, in your day, man. Uh, and even then, I was in Wilkinson's and I was going to buy something, but I forgot about it. <laughs> so, I need, a, I need a fitted bed sheet for my bed because the other one's like the winter one. I'm glad you specified for your bed. If it says you needed a fitted bed sheet to now wear to go to the shops, I'd have been very concerned. I mean, fuck it, you're usually just like a toga from Greece, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Are you like other normal people when it comes to fitted bed sheets? And can you also not fold one? <laughs> Where you fold them? Apparently so. Apparently like people like fold like the spares. I, I, I just want to be scrubbing in a ball. Yeah, I was <laughs> going like, to say, I, uh, I, I start there. folding it. I find like two corners, kind of bring them into the middle and then just wrap my arms around. <laughs> Roll them up and just be like, ta-da! There we go. <laughs> that goes away in the cupboard. Goodbye. Oh dear! So you've you've you got a, a mutual familial hatred going on just now, which sounds sounds appealing. Sounds I like. Yeah. <laughs> I I've had quite a, an eventful weekend, to be honest. Like okay. again, no one gives a shit about last week because we missed the show. Fuck it, no one cares. And to be well. most of last week or most of this week just passed hasn't been a massive amount happening. Been going to college, getting some good stuff done there. 
uh, working on some working on a project, which is nice. I've recorded a script for and got some music lined up for and all that jazz. So you know, it's mm-hmm. been it's been progressing quite nicely. I took a two minute, what was supposed to be a two minute presentation, uh, and turned it into a twenty minute presentation because, as usual, <laughs> uh, I I say it's things and it sparks debate. Yet. Well, the problem was we were supposed to do a presentation, a two minute presentation on our most favorite and least favorite websites that yeah. we've come across. So I sat down and for a and, for a, and why and why was it Pornhub? Well. It should have been. Um, I had OnlyFans listed as one of them, uh, but I didn't actually use it. I thought, for a laugh, I'm going to sit down, and my, the first slide on my presentation was my website, <laughs> smackthestreamer.com, and I'm like, oh, wait, how did that get there? And I quickly moved on to that. It was just meant to be like a joke, a cheeky little plug for myself. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the lecturer went, no, no, hang on, go back to that. I want to see it. What was it? I went, oh, God. <laughs> so that then spawned into like a massive long conversation about my website which then tied into my merch store and got me a couple of new followers on uh, on youtube and stuff as well so it wasn't all a waste of time but <laughs> it was meant to be a joke to begin with and everyone, like most yeah. of the folk in the class got a laugh and the lecturer was like no no i want to see it I'm like, oh god it needs updated it's out of date <laughs> and of course i'm wearing my smack the streamer hoodie in college at this yeah. time so of course when i go to the merch page they're like oh wait that's actually yours you be- oh, oh fucking hell yes uh here's the link if anyone wants to buy merch by the way teespring is closed down um, <laughs> which of course then led me to so the teespring store that made these is closed down but there is a new shop that has different things <laughs> so i then loaded up my fourth wall website instead <laughs> Eventually, so we got to talk about websites. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say. So basically, you're meant to bring in two websites. It is but you brought in seventy because half of them was just like, yeah, one was meant to be a joke, but they went, no, yeah. no, let's deep dive into this. Exactly, and it was a <laughs> lot. It, it went from two minutes of hatred towards one site to twenty minutes of self promo, which got me. Like one of the guys actually went, "Wait, you've got a YouTube channel?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." I said, "Yeah, yeah, it's this." And I told them about the Shack one where we uh, upload these. Yeah. Five minutes after me saying this, while I'm still giving the presentation bit, I'm like, why can I hear my own voice? They were playing one of the videos on one of the computers in the background. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I appreciate the views, but do you mind? No, it was one of my old React videos. I think it was the old, um, uh, the Hydraulic Press React video that we've got on the channel. Oh, right, yeah. And I'm just hearing myself doing it. I was like, it's like now you're on a year and a half, pushing two years old. It's terribly filmed. The audio's not good. Do you mind just not watching that? They were like, no, but we want to see. So the whole time I'm doing this presentation, I've got my own voice playing off a pc in the background which was really distracting but to guys who watched it thanks for the views <laughs> i can just imagine just you, you saying it god damn it smack shut up so i can talk it was like every time i paused like after saying something i would just hear my own voice reacting to this video in the background I'm like oh for god's sake it's like an echo and not in a good way but the the fun thing this weekend was i got to uh, do my first ever esports commentary Yes, I did see that. I finally got to do it. So the professional football team uh, up here in Aberdeen, Aberdeen Football Club, were holding a FIFA 23 esports tournament of their own, Mm -hmm. um, which they'd done the qualifiers for at the Belong Arena, which is like a gaming setup within uh, Game, the company, stores. Yeah. Um, So Game has got a shop within Sports Direct, which is a really weird combination for me. Mm-hmm. And within that game is another unit, which is the Belong bit, where they've got all their PCs and PS5s and everything set up. It's like a little gaming cafe. So, right. Cool little spot. So they were kind of like dealing with all the tech side of it, and Aberdeen with the big name behind it. And it was hosted at the Beach Ballroom, which is like the most historic venue for any form of live performance in Aberdeen. Like, I, I've been at it a couple of times before for commentating for the wrestling stuff. Uh, I actually wrestled at the beach ballroom once for all of, like, five minutes, which is when I ruined my shoulder. Um, <laughs> so, it, like, it was a venue that I've done stuff in the past, and I'm aware of its sort of historical significance to Aberdeen. So to get the opportunity to do a live event there in front of 400 people live in the building um, and commentate on this thing that was broadcast out on their channel was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a nice little thing to do. And as a result, the folks at Belong have says we actually do a lot of like internal um weekly tournaments and stuff that would be great to have an in-house commentator for can we have your contact details please oh dude that's amazing so yeah i'm hoping it'll turn into a little bit more stuff so it it was good fun it was great to do like it was only an hour or so of my day Uh, it was really fun to do got to meet some beautiful like awesome sound guys uh, at the ballroom for setting things up got to use one of those for the first time ever you know one of those um like microphones that just sits on the side of your face like yeah. it sort of goes around the back of that. Like you see performers and singers and dancers and all that where when they're doing live performances. I think they do them for like TED Talks and stuff as well. Uh-huh. It's like hooks around the back of your head, but the microphone's essentially glued to the side of your face. It's so tight to you. 
Yeah. So your, your hands are completely free to it. It was awesome. There was a lot of echo because the in-house commentary was the broadcast commentary as well, and I was in the room. So the, like the sound quality wasn't ideal, but just as an experience, fucking loved it. So keep an well, ear out for me more. more. Going on like saying you said, yeah, there was four hundred people in the room, but there was yeah. also two hundred people watching online. Uh, I didn't know that because I wasn't anywhere near the stream. I just had the microphone. Oh, well, it's just like the stream. I'm looking at the stream now. It was like 119, 100, nearly nearly two hundred views. Yeah, so. it's yeah, it was good fun, and I'm hoping. Like Aberdeen are going to do more of this. I volunteered my time for this one, so I did it for free for the first one. Yeah, um, I will not be doing it for free again. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I have learned very, very quickly. I offer my time for free once, so they can get to know me. Now they know me. Now you pay me. <laughs> so now you know. Now you know what exactly you're going to get. Give me fucking money. <laughs> basically, yes. It's like I've got a big thing about. You know, I like to volunteer my time to help out local organisations if they're doing something yeah. big that benefits the community. But I will not continuously offer my time for free. Mm -hmm. um, and again, even if, if the first time I offer my time for free, I'm either taken advantage of or not treated what I would deem appropriately. Because yeah. people look at volunteers as lesser than paid staff. So a lot of them will be like, ah, it's a volunteer. It'll be fine. They can sort themselves out, which pisses me off. Exactly. Um, depending on how I'm treated with it would mean I might just not volunteer I might not even do it if they're offering to pay me like I've had one opportunity in the past where I did it voluntarily I turned up I got treated not ideally they then went oh but we can get you some money I'm like nah I don't care you've treated me like shit I'm not coming back to it yeah, so, exactly. get them. if you are volunteering your time for anything especially when it comes to content creation like for mm. creating graphics creating intros creating audio files sound bites clips anything like that be willing to offer your time for free once if it helps you in the long run. But don't yeah. keep doing it for free. Do it once, then make sure you're getting paid what you deserve from that point onwards. 100% agree with that step. Yeah, because like, I, I mean, even Z, who does my fucking emotes and stuff for me, she did the first mm -hmm. couple for free, but then I'm like, you're not doing it. Like, if you do any more for me, I'm paying you for them. Well, yeah, like I said, the first, like, do you remember when, um, like I said, do you remember when I used to do content creation? That was fantastic, wasn't it? I know, remember those days? Uh, yeah, I remember it was fantastic. I was years ago, but anyway, the first, like, whenever, like, the first thing Z did for me, I can't remember what it was, but I know it was, like, very easy, very, very small and very easily made. Hmm. I think it was free as well. But now everything after us, I was just like, oh, I always go, oh, Z, can, can you, could you do this? And stuff yeah. like that. She goes, yeah, and just like, oh, yeah, and how much, how, how much do you want for it? Yeah, the amount of times as well, she'll try and go, oh, it's okay, I'll just do this one for free. And I'm like, no, no. this is, this is literally an income source for you now. You, yeah. you have, you take commissions. So if you were, yeah, and, well, and the amount of time she'll turn around and be like, oh, but it's fine, I'll just do this. And I'm like, no, if I do ask you to do anything, I live with you. I go to the bottom of the pile. Like, I am, I will say, if you're in the middle of doing this, doing that, whatever, if you've got commissions, you focus on those first. Worry about me afterwards. The bigger, because the commissions from everyone else are more likely to bring in other business, other custom from elsewhere. Yeah. Whereas the, the business for me isn't. Who am I going to tell? Everyone else already fucking knows that she does all this stuff. Yeah. So. That's all right. Um... <laughs> Yeah. On Twitter a few on, on Twitter a few days ago. Now bear in mind, I don't, I am not a big Twitter fan. I watch, I look, I look at Twitter. I watch Twitter. You tweet. <laughs> I, I tweet randomly every now and again, <laughs> once every few years. Yes. Okay. Almost as often I, as you stream. I, I, exactly. I, I at best, I stalk people on Twitter. I look at your Twitter. I look at Z's Twitter. I, I like and retweet things. That's as best as I can do. Fair. Right. But anyway, I got a message on Twitter. <gasps> I think I know who messaged you, but carry on. Right, but anyway, they go. I, I got so, well. First off, I got a notification for us. I was well, followed yes. by someone. No, oh, oh. named Isabella. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Twenty-two-year-old VTuber. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Right. So it'd be nice. I was like, ask her. Follow that. Why not? He gives them stuff as well. Right. Yeah, and then I got an instant instant message. Hey, oh lord! Thanks for the follow. Oh no! Right? No, no worries. He goes, "How are you doing today?" And I'm doing all right. Good. <laughs> Glad to hear that. How often do you stream? <laughs> God. Uh, I don't stream, but I am a co-host of a podcast. Yeah. How does that sound? I didn't say how that sound, but I said that's about it. And she goes, "Oh, I see." Actually, I'm a professional graphics designer and I do commission work for fair prices of your interest. <laughs> GFX designer artist! <laughs> as soon as I said that, I stopped replying. Stop replying, unfollow, run away, save yourself. 
exactly. I'm just like, I, mean, I understand. I understand you're trying to put yourself out there, but I didn't ask. Did I? I know there's so many of these now. Like if you, if anyone puts on Twitter that they are a content creator or, you know, Hey, who does your thumbnails? I'm looking for someone to do a logo. So warm. It's like flies to excrement. It is just you're inundated with GFX VTuber artists who will tell you yeah. everything and point you towards it's just honestly Twitter is one of the worst places I don't get that anywhere else maybe, maybe a little bit on Instagram actually yeah. but if you put up like oh I, you know I do this it's like oh, let me promote your channel here do you have one more follow pull up pull up oh, get fucking fucked go away I mean I mean I just don't get the idea of where they think that I need one <laughs> you know, because looking at my Twitter, I'm looking at my Twitter right now, and it's literally just retweets of your shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go to tweets and go to tweets channel. and replies. I'm on there more than fucking Dan is on his own channel. Yeah, you are actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 there's a dog going there. Oh, bear with me. She is in a tarot reading, and I need to go and answer the door. Pause. Okay. Good. Uh, that was the postman delivering post. Strangely enough, ah, his name is not Pat, which is very disappointing. You don't have a letterbox. We do, yes, but it was a box that needed to be like scanned and handed through. It wouldn't fit through the letterbox, sadly. Mm, that's unfortunate. <sighs> I know, Pat. I still haven't met his cat. Mm, anyway, uh, <laughs> where were we? What were we talking about? We'd done, we'd done our, our things and our stuff. Now, yeah. let's let let's go on to the world of Twitter because yes. we were kind of talking about it anyway with your your GFX artists, and we kind of mentioned it briefly. But as for those who follow on Twitter, will know uh, Jake Paul is a thing. Unfortunately, he's thing, yes. yeah, he's not a person. Um, and finally, after what seemed like about two years of back and forth and on and off and yes and no and not happening, uh, he finally fought Tommy Fury last night. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Fair play to both of them. Such a good fight between both of them. Yeah, such a good fight. Let's yeah. not fucking pretend like we actually watched it. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Let's not I, even seen, fucking I've, pretend. I've seen the highlights. I've seen the highlights. Uh, right. Fucking hell. The uh, uh, no, I refuse to call them highlights. If Jake Paul's involved, it's fucking low lights. I refuse uh, to call anything with that twat <laughs> face in it a highlight. Honestly. Uh, well, surprisingly, uh, like I say, I'm looking at the actual scorecard actually, and uh, after out of the eight rounds, yeah. The judges scored two of them for Paul. Uh, no, one of them. One for Paul and two for... Oh, out of all the eight rounds, you mean? Uh, out of all the eight rounds, yes. Yeah. So round they, gave him, they gave Paul round three and round eight. Eight, yeah. He got round eight because yeah. he got a knockdown in round eight. But yeah. he was... From what I've read and from what I've seen... I mean, it was a split decision victory, so there was no stoppage. It was a split decision. Yeah. Two judges put it for Tommy Fury. One, one judge somehow... Put it for Jake Paul. Yeah. Fuck only knows how. Um, just so that they've got an out, I would imagine. Um, to go, oh, look, and that way they'll guarantee themselves a rematch and get more money out of it. But well, technically, Jake Fury... Uh, Jake Fury? Jake Fury, Fury. Jake Fury. joined the other team. Tommy Fury was just, yeah, like, obviously the better fighter. Yeah, obviously. obviously. the better boxer. And just actually caught... Like give Jakey's due, stronger chin than a lot of people would have given him credit for, and he actually went eight rounds, um, yeah. without getting knocked out. But yeah, it, it's nice to see that he's finally come up against an actual boxer who's still relatively new in his boxing career, but is obviously you know the half brother of Tyson Fury. Well. Yeah, yeah, defeated as well from yeah. like the same as what Jake was. Yeah, um, but Tommy's fought actual boxers. That's the difference. He's fought like people, whether yeah. they're experienced or not, is another story. Jake has spent mm -hmm. his entire time fighting retired MMA fighters or basketball players or other celebrities from other... And, you know, it's just like, no. And now he's fought an actual boxer and lost. So, hallelujah. Uh, I, w I wish this would, like, stop him from continuing, but we know it won't. Oh, no, it won't. He's already... I mean, did you hear, the, did you hear what he said at the end of it? Uh, I, the main bits I heard were he got sick twice during this camp he was in. Yes. And he was felt a bit flat, but he's not making excuses, but he'd no, love no, to no. run it back. Yeah, yeah, so he'd love to run it back. He said he felt, he felt, he felt ill twice during the camp and he hurt his arm. Yes. But not making excuses. Not making excuses, which sounds like an excuse to me. That sounds honest. massively like an excuse, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Jake Paul's been saying to judge him in his defeats. Yeah. As well as his wins, but mainly uh, this time, judge him in his defeats. Yeah. Don't judge um, me on my wins, judge me on my losses. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Um, 
Tommy Fury says, yeah, that, that he said, yeah, he, he, he saw the video of where he's talked about um, how uh, he was ill and stuff like that. He went, yeah, I wouldn't have said that. Um, I would have. Um, yeah, you know, exactly. Accepted the better man one at that point. But, you know, it is it is what he, it is. What it is. But I don't think being ill would have, uh, you know, mm. stopped him stopped him from winning. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 a stupid thing to do. Mm-hmm. Really fucking stupid thing to do. But like he's I done said, it. Well, I mean, Jake yeah. uh, Logan did it when he fought KSI. He was like, oh, I woke up this morning and sneezed three times. It's like, what the fuck did that have to do with you losing a boxing match? Shut up. Yeah, I mean, I, I woke up this morning and I was fat, so I lost my boxing match. So I woke up this morning and didn't want to fight, so I lost. You're Scottish? Yeah. You always want to fight? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, we always want to drink. Oh, that's it. Which, and then that usually leads to always wanting to fight after that. But, <laughs> it's, yeah, <very laughs> but, but the, the wanting to drink a bit has to happen first before we go into the rest. Like I say, fair play to both of them. Like I said they went, they went full eight rounds because people didn't actually think it would go the full eight rounds. Yeah, they were convinced there would um, be a stoppage. Yeah, I definitely thought there would be a stoppage. But, heck, well done to both of them. Wasn't it a winner-take-all fight? Uh, I think it was going to be. Like, it was offered up a few times. Um, yeah. I don't know if they did. I think that now that this fight's happened, mm-hmm. I, the sad thing is for uh, for Jake now is obviously the, the, everyone wants this big Jake versus KSI fight. Everyone wants Jake Paul versus KSI. That's the big fight. It's what everyone wants to see. Yeah. The sad thing is, I think KSI now has every right to go. Why would I fight you? You've you've lost to Tommy Fury now. Like, why no, no, why would no, I fight yeah. you? I still think it's going. I think it's still going to go. Ahead, oh, it will. Probably. I mean, obviously, that's going to be a massive sellout. Yeah, guaranteed. It will. Guar- ma- massive sellout. There's going to be... Th- I mean, dumb- oh, my God. Did you hear about the money it cost, though? Uh, no, because where was it? It was in uh, Saudi Arabia, wasn't it? It was in Saudi Arabia, but it was it was nineteen. It was nine ninety nine to get a subscription to ESPN. Yeah. Right? But then it was an extra 50 quid to watch the pay-per-view. Oh, cheap. No, this, no, this is why I, I'd refuse to buy pay-per-view stuff nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, but um, hold on. I'm pretty sure Keemstar tweeted something about this. Oh, God. Uh, Good old Keemstar. Everyone's favourite friend. Keemstar. I mean, to be honest, he was fucking counting down the rounds. Uh, he was going, oh, this one, 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 this one. And uh, it was great. And I'm like, yeah. Can someone please just hurt Keemstar for me? Yeah. Um, yeah, so they charged... Um, <clears throat> they charged him uh, 52 and 60 twice. <laughs> and, and paid forty nine ninety nine uh, for the pay per view, and it charged him sixty four thirty five twice. So intentionally, <sighs> uh, Kim Star accidentally paid two hundred thirty five dollars for the pay per view. Ah, uh, he better quickly put out another controversial tweet and get some more money coming into his channel. Mm. Balance out that excess. Uh, He's a fucking idiot. Exactly. I mean, come on. I mean, someone put out a fake script for the fight. I know. It's like, oh, he's going to have... Uh, Tommy Fury will have something an issue with his left eye. And yeah. then uh, the doctor will come in and allow it to continue. But then it won't. And then it's just like, oh, for the love of Christ. Please. Uh, and the amount of people who bought it going, well, if this actually happens, people are going to believe that the fights are rigged. And da, 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 da. It's like, of course. That's the whole point of them releasing it, is they want you to think these things and get engagement of it. I'm just wondering, how can you fake a swollen eye? Oh, they'd have... He'd have done... God only knows. They'd have found a way. I mean, Jake was with Disney long enough. I'm sure he's got some... Maybe he's got uh, some GFX artists who would have put an overlay on the stream. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's... It, it's finally happened now, because obviously the last two... It's been booked twice before now to, to actually happen, the fight to take yeah, place. Uh, which Tommy Fury's pulled out of both, I believe. Yeah, the first time he had... I was have broken his rib or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and the second time he what he got he wasn't allowed into the USA. Yes, um, um, <laughs> which is quite funny. I actually thought the third time he was going to stop because he was getting the like his child was getting born. Yeah, um, which again, fucking Jake announced the birth yeah. of Tommy's child before Tommy did himself, which was a dick move. No need. Yeah, honestly, I mean, did you see the um, post fight interview? Not post fight, the uh, pre fight interview. Um, mm, with, uh, I didn't watch a lot of them. No, the first fight. Basically, uh, I mean, fair play to Jake, he did apologise for um, spoiling the announcement and stuff, and did uh, get the child a uh, big designer baby clothes and stuff like that, okay. which um, Tommy did accept and stuff, and gave a good hug out for it, So Yeah, well, that's, that's... See, this is the thing, Jake, Jake is... He's a dick, and I don't like him, 
but yeah. he's he's very very good at selling what he's participating in. Yeah, that's that's, that's basically the idea. I mean, as I think it was Logan Paul that said it. When you fight, when you you don't fight Jake Paul for that one night. Yeah, you're he's, fighting him for months in the build up. You're fighting for months, and he, like he's a, like, I think he called him a menace. Yeah, because he do stuff that will rile you up so much that you think that you're actually going to kill him. Yeah, Not because of it. Exactly. Which, he, yeah. he tries to get inside people's head, or he does get inside people's heads, and he is a nightmare. Yeah. He's a problem child. That's why he goes with yeah. the problem child, Jake Paul. It's it's his it's yeah. his brand. You know. Yeah, I mean, remember when he stole flipping away with his hat? <sighs> oh, I got your hat and runs away. It's just like, exactly. come on, you child. He's seven now, you know. I know. It's just, but again, he is—he's money, and yeah. anyone who fights him for whatever reason is getting paid. Yeah, I and agree. It, like a lot. Of, I think the worst one that he's had was the the Ben Askren thing, where just like he, he knocked him down so early, and it was just like, oh god, it's like you're fighting a man in his forties who's retired from MMA and has a new yeah. hip. Like he literally had hip replacement surgery like about twelve months beforehand. <laughs> like, come on, this isn't an accurate representation of how good a boxer you are. But it was money, and he sold it, yeah. and people bought it. So you can't argue against what he's actually produced. Is he a good boxer? He's okay. He's average at best. But I think uh, Eddie Hearn said it: the average is actually really good. For someone yeah. at his level, so like he shouldn't be compl- yeah. he shouldn't be offended by someone calling him average, but he is, and he and continues he's to be like, a dickhead. Yeah, like I say, he's got like what? This is now his seventh fight, something like I that. Think. Yeah. Uh, so he's now six and one, which is a good record. It's a yeah. really good record. Yeah. Um, for someone who's just getting into boxing and stuff like that, and is fighting on the level that he is fighting, on 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 basically the state. I mean, people who like are just average boxers and stuff like that. When they get to like say seven fights in, they're not nearly participating on the stage that he is participating on. No, exactly. The pressure that um, that puts on the people as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like yeah, he's he's got a loss. Take the loss, you know. Yeah. He's, he's going to come back for it. He's oh, guaranteed. Back. He's going to come back to the boxing. Just, just uh, more than likely, he's probably not going to cover it. But his next fight is probably not going to be, you know, another professional boxer. It's I don't know. I think his next fight might be to- a rematch with Fury again. Nah, I don't think. So. I, I, think do for, I think Tommy he goes for. I think he goes for the rematch with Fury. Nah, he, he, he'll fight him. He'll fight him. You think? Yeah, guaranteed. Tommy won't say no because again, the money will be there. Jake will have to offer him more money because it's always like, well, why do I need to? I've already beaten him. Yeah, true. He doesn't need to fight him again. So if he's going to, he's got a kid on. He's got a kid now. So you know, do it for the money, if nothing else. And I oh, think I can, Jake, my opinion. Yeah, yeah. My opinion will be is like he'll want to thing Reese Eagle back. Mm-hmm. He will. He want to know. He'll want to like you know sell it. Like go through. Okay, I lost last time, but this is like you know a big win for me. Yeah. And he'll fight someone who like has some form of fighting background, but isn't a boxer. Possibly. And. And then that is like, you know, yeah, I just beat this guy who was like, I had a fighting background, so that means I'm still... You know, I think the problem he's got there is he won't get taken... If he, having finally fought an actual boxer and lost, if he now goes back to fighting non-boxers and wins, people yeah. will just look at it and go, see, you've proved that you can't hang with a real boxer. And his, yeah. his, I don't think his ego can take that. Yeah. I think he needs well, to fight another boxer. Yeah, well, take this into the fact where, like, say, obviously, he wants to fight KSI, but KSI is already for a professional boxer, and I yeah. see it. Boxer in yeah, Pineda was. Yeah. Pineda was absolute crap. Yeah, he's got Pineda's come uh, back and at least he's um. Come back fantastic, he's, he's joined the Mis- Misfits brand. Yeah, good on he him. He has and his and his literally. I've seen I've seen some of his fights afterwards. They've been fantastic. Yeah, give him his due. But, he's he's taken it the right way. But um, when he was fighting KSI and stuff like that, it was. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was just like you know all his professional skill went out the window. I think the, the he was overwhelmed by the yeah. the general situation that he was in the the everything yeah. like the environment, the situation, the the crowd, the whole lot. I think it was just too much for him. Cause, I mean, he barely he didn't speak English. Exactly. You know I mean? so. It was a lot for him to take in, and he's his skills were there, but it just yeah. I think everything got the better of him when he actually stepped out to the ring. Yeah, that's probably exactly right. Um, Which is a shame because again, his skill was clearly there as he's shown since he came back. 
Uh, but taking the fact that KSI for a professional boxer, Jake Paul is for a professional boxer, and only one of them managed to win against it. Yeah. Where, J- where KSI got it in a round two take you someone like that yeah two or three i can't remember it didn't go very long lost after going eight rounds which you know yeah it's like the level of professional boxing will obviously come into it but Mm -hmm. yeah i think right now like there's there's no there's no real bet like for ksi side of things there's no real benefit for him to go and fight jake now because it's like, well, if Jake had actually beaten Tommy Fury, then it'd be like, right now, okay, I've got something to prove. I can go in. This guy's beating a professional boxer now. We've both beaten a pro. Let's go. Let's do it. And whereas now it's like, well, I've beaten a pro and you haven't. So what, what, why would I fight you? Honestly, the only thing that will be, I mean, oh, I mean, as we say, oh, this fight is 100% still going to happen. But oh, God, The yeah. only reason why it'll be happen uh, will just be for, um, basically just for the fans' sake, really, because... yeah. Yeah, but like I say, Jeff Paul's got it. Um, there's no like you know big catch of like who's going to lose the O and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it, it's easy. pure grudge match. And let's put yeah. fuck it. Let's make let get him trained up and let Logan be the ref. <laughs> 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 let's turn it full WWE style. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Logan Paul just goes switching music. One of one of one of, one of yeah. the other ones yeah. betrays his betrays either his brother or his business partner. <laughs> I'd be down for that. I like that. It was now, the same when, um, be, in KSI's last that. fight when they both watched it together, and like yeah. Jake's just sitting there, kind of like, okay, okay, and Logan's like, oh my god, he did it, he knocked him out, he's done it again. And everyone's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a fucking bottle of prime in his hand. Shut up, leave him alone. Yeah, we yeah. get it. The uh, same thing is right. You might have, like thing is about Jake, like not like Jake Paul, uh, Logan Paul and stuff like that. He, hmm. he, lo- he loves them both. He loves Logan. Paul. He loves his. He loves his brother. And he loves yeah. KSI. And so, and so he doesn't like you know put one on the other. He doesn't say, "Oh well, Jake is better this case." Yeah. Better that. Um, he will, he will, he will, he will treat them all equally. But I would love to see where he stands on the whole. It went when you know. Yeah. Um, Jake Paul does fight. Well, did uh, you see? He put a tweet out. Um, was it yesterday or the day before? Going, I, I would be willing to bet my equity in Prime oh, yeah, that, that so Jake right. beats Tommy, and then Tom, yeah. Jake loses, and everyone's like, I think it was the sidemen tweeted out not long after it, going, "Can we have his equity then?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because he tweeted, yeah, he, he put a follow up tweet and goes, "All right, guys, who wants it?" Yeah, it's like who's who's yeah. getting the, who wants the equity then? I was willing to bet it. Shit, that didn't work. <laughs> I was tempted to reply to that tweet going, all right, I'll take that bet. I'll I will have, him. I'd have replied to it and says, I will have like 1% of your equity. That'll yeah. do me. I'll be happy with, give me 1%. That's all I'll need. I mean, what was it? They, they had a, they made like what? 25, 30 million in January? For, $45 million. $45 million in January. Yeah. 1% of that, that'll do me for a good few years, you know? I, I, 1% of that will do me for, I, I don't know, ever. <laughs> 1% is equity for one, like every year. Yep. That would be, like, you know, fine for me. That, that, absolutely. You know something? I'll even I'll be really generous and I'll take half a percent. Half a percent. There we go. <laughs> Give me um, one half of a percentage point. Thank you very much. That'll do me. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that's taken over Twitter over the last sort of twenty four hours or so, which is it's been good to see. There's still some light hearted banter going around about it, and there was a bit of respect between the two fighters at the end as well. So um, I am I am grateful for for that that particular chapter of the YouTube content creator box inside of things to be closed. Yeah. Now let's see what comes next from it. Uh, what comes next from us is our our game discussion, which you did mention earlier was a thing for you. Yes. Uh, so you were going to mention a certain fire, fiery brand. Fiery brand. <laughs> I couldn't think of another word for it. Anyway, but yeah, the new season of Diablo. Actually, when I say the new season, the last season of Diablo. Yes. Um, on Friday. Yes, Friday. It was a Friday game, yeah. Yeah, Friday. And it was absolute. I mean, the new the new thing that's came through, the new thing that's come through, not only is it passive, but there's a new system called an altar. Okay. Okay. And that that's basically allows you to do things in the game that hasn't technically been done before. Right? <gasps> Be able to uh, wear any level gear, regardless of what level you are, which is mm-hmm. uh, uh, which is to be honest, right? When you're leveling the game, the slowest part of Diablo, like getting from that mag one to max level, and then after that, the real grind begins. It's almost the slowest part of any game, to be honest. Once you get started, you're like, yay, and then you go, crap, now I need to level up everything. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, 
But then it's like, oh, you're about, they're like during like in thing in the um other other parts of the uh, altar tree where you can choose. It's like, oh, by the way, your pet will start picking up items for you, so you don't have to do it. I'm like, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I'm like, oh, going to get loot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Slave pet, fetch. <laughs> Basically, basically, is I have a, I have a blazing skull with me, and he, he goes around picking all my gold. <laughs> you know? Not you know? not the average pet you would find down at the pet shop, but you know, flaming skull hey, covers for most. It was, it was either it was either him, a, a, a spider named Charlotte, or a, an abominable snowman named Mumble. And you didn't take the abominable snowman, you heathen. No, I, 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 got, I got the blaze pet first, and so I have a special connection with him. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I'll let I'll let you off. You know, it's amazing it's like, the uh, the bond between human and skull. It is. I'm, I'm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, continue. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I what I what I've been playing like this whole time. Like I've been mainly farming it because at the end of the once you get a max level, like there's this thing called Paragon levels, which mm. is like you know it's stronger your character and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, in these last three days I've been playing, I've gained over six, nearly. 600 Paragon levels. Jesus Christ. Just a couple. Just a couple. Just just a little yeah. bit here or there. Have you had a look at the other, uh, the big game that's come out for a lot of folk? I haven't seen it myself. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Sons of the Forest. No, I have not. Neither have I. And I feel like I should have done a bit more research into it before this. But I haven't been looking too much into it because I have been stuck. And by stuck, I mean happily stuck. Back playing an older game, which I have re-downloaded. And I'm once again slowly obsessing myself over. And playing a new game, which I, I just launched on stream last week. Oh, First yeah. time I'd ever streamed it. Um, so I started streaming Valorant. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I got sucked into the Valorant wormhole. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, it's actually really fun. I, I, I do enjoy it so far. I, I've literally just played one character the entire time, so I can like try and learn them as well as I can before I try anything else. Um, I'm getting there. I got a positive kill ratio at one point in a couple of games, so you know I'm, I'm improving. Never yeah, me. I never have a pos positive kill ratio. <laughs> no, well, I mean it's better to have it in a game because I don't get it in life. So. Yeah, that's what you think. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I haven't died yet, so my, 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 I'm still, I've still got zero deaths. Yeah, um, I know, but how many kills have you got? That's for me, not you. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what worries me. Right now, I've broke even. Um, <laughs> but. In addition to that, and what I'm actually returning to stream today, because obviously we're recording this on a Monday instead, um, I'm back. I, I'm throwing cards again, Dan. You what? I'm throwing cards again. Why are you throwing cards again? Oh, um, Hearthstone. Yep. Right. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I saw, I saw you were like on the thing where you because I also know you changed your. Um, yes, uh, I changed my my uh, my gamer tag. Yes. Gamer tag on Battle.net, and I was just like, uh -huh. I wonder if you should out oh, because when you first logged in, I was like, I was like. I wonder if I should tell him to change his battle tag. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to. <laughs> and then I was just like, then like, like what, 10 minutes later, I was like, did he fucking read my mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I stupidly went and paid £8 to change my fucking tag. Could have just, just asked her, could have just got a load of people to report her name, and then you would have got a free free refill, free, free read on. Nah, be fun. the problem is Smack the Streamer didn't fit. It was too long. So. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll change it to like Smack Streams, TTV or some bloody thing or whatever I went for. But um, yeah, I've been back. I, I created a deck uh, a few days ago, which I've been playing with. And I'm playing just, I'm not playing Battlegrounds, I'm playing Standard. And full on Standard, which is obviously the, the more important way of playing Hearthstone. Exactly. Um, and it was uh, I've smashed my way through the bronze ranks already. I'm now into silver. Yeah. So... Today on stream, it's basically a ladder climb. How how high can this one deck take me? Um, well, what kind of deck is it? It's a Death Rattle Rogue. Okay. okay. Yes, That's and good. I've reinstalled um, Deck Tracker as well, so I will have Deck Tracker available on my stream. That's beautiful. Um, so folks can see what kind of deck I'm using, and it helps me just judge myself a little bit further. But it's been a lot of fun to play so far. I swear to God, if I come up against one more Death Knight. In Hearthstone, I'm probably going to cry because that seems to be all I come up against. I've had the odd paladin, the odd priest, maybe the odd mage here or there, but fucking death knights. Now, you were saying odd paladin as in like um, the deck build? Odd no, 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 just as in like I've come across the okay, okay I've come across an occasional paladin. That's better. Uh, occasionally a, a priest and occasionally a mage. Maybe a warlock every so often, which lasts about five turns and then they're dead. 
Yeah, pretty much, because they keep killing themselves. And... Yes, they keep going, tap, tap, tap. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's been a fun one. Like, the first few rounds I played were kind of, you know, just starting to learn the deck, understand it a bit, how it's how best to play, what I want to mulligan, what I want to keep early on. Uh, but now I'm, I'm starting to find my feet with it and find a bit of consistency with it. So let's see this afternoon on Monday, the 27th of February at 2pm GMT, how high a Death Rattle Rogue can actually get me. Uh, no, I'm at did. silver rank now, so... I was gonna say you say you, you've just said uh, the time and stuff like that and the date mm -hmm. that you're going to be streaming, but we all know that this is this video is going to be posted well after that. Yes, I know. That's why if people want to go back and watch my vod, they know which day to look for. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just on, on your stream. Hello, people from the future. I know, just you've watched my video. I know, I see you saw the stream, the podcast. Hello. I'm waving at them now. I don't know why I'm waving at them now. I need to do it on my stream. I was going to say, why are you waving now? Oh, okay, it's because I'm fucking tired, and I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a busy weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I had all this stuff on Saturday with the eSports stuff. Yesterday was just a, a chaotic day of trying to do things and go shopping and survive. I even had a bath last night because I just felt worn out. I've had my hair done. I'm now pink and purple and orange and green. I look like, like a fucking cocktail. I was going to say, it sounds multicultural. I, um, I don't, yeah, I look like something you would go into a cocktail bar and order. After this, I need to go make myself some budget beans on toast and then... Uh, go uh, to the hairdressers. Uh, Ooh. For a haircut and an actual shave. I'm glad you said uh, go to the hairdressers for a haircut. If you said we're going to the hairdressers to get your fucking toes done, I'd have been very concerned. Well, you never know. I've got hairy toes. I know, but they're not going to do that for you. Uh, but, listen, right? Do not judge them, okay? They might do want to do things that other hairdressers don't, and it sets them apart. I mean, yes, but plaiting someone's toe hair, I don't really think it's the way forward. <laughs> I'm not getting plotted and I just don't have hair on my toes. Just tying, <laughs> tying your toes together like shoelaces. No, no, no. That's, that's really how long Rapunzel's hair was. It actually came from the toe. Oh, no. Oh, I, just, I just got <laughs> fucking shoelace toes. Da, 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 da. And a pretty little bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> if ever there's a reason to wear sandals and Crocs. Oh, imagine yeah, wearing Crocs and just having the hair come through the holes on the Crocs at the front. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if ever there was a like, reason to hate Crocs more. Oh, I just imagine just giving Bigfoot itself Crocs. Oh, yes. Jesus God. No. I mean, to be fair, actually, the Crocs would be a good way of controlling the length when you're cutting it. So you put the Crocs yeah. on, let the hair come through the holes, and then just shave over the top of the Crocs. And you're just left with a nice little buzz cut underneath. Uh, <laughs> the new update of a ball cut, the Croc cut. Ooh. I'd be there for that. Um, it'd yeah. be the only way you'd ever get me into a pair of fucking Crocs, because I hate them with an absolute passion. Only one reason to use Crocs. Okay. And that's eat the living shit out of anyone else who's wearing them. Well, with Crocs. yeah, but my issue with Crocs, right, stems from working in a bar. A, 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 a bar, a bar restaurant. Crocs are a big thing for chefs, apparently. Chefs love wearing Crocs. Really? I thought sh chefs love wearing shoes. No, apparently chefs do love wearing Crocs. Crocs are a big thing for chefs. But the issue I had is in this kitchen, there was about six chefs at a time on a busy day. Yeah. And right. they'd all wear their Crocs. And at the end right. of the shift, all those Crocs went into the dishwasher to clean them at the end of the day. Like the same dishwasher where all my plates and stuff go, which is, you know, I, I eat food off of these plates and you're washing your fucking Crocs in them. I mean, here's the thing. How long do dishwashers take? I don't know. It depends. Industrial ones don't take as long. Yeah, but probably 30 minutes, maybe? Yeah, probably not even that, to be honest with you, when they're uh, those ones. But anyway, but, but anyway right? Yeah. I, like, Crocs have holes in them. Yeah. I mean, I've never wore Crocs, but I would... Agree. I am aware of their existence. I've seen them. <laughs> I, I, I am aware of that they're good. They're, 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 they're useful as ammo when yes. I want to throw them at them. Right? But the idea of wearing shoes is that... If something hot spills on your foot, the shoe is there to protect you. Yes, it's very annoying, and and I'll bet very painful if you spill hot soup when you're soup. preparing it. Good soup. Yep, hot, hot soup. Good soup. Good soup. Right. <laughs> soup. Good soup. Super soup. Super soup. <laughs> anyway, uh, good soup. <laughs> uh, when you're spilling, when you get, you're carrying the soup, you're gonna go put it on the um. Whatever is it, the serving? The range, you, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
and they go ding, right? And then you go, oh, oh, oh no, I've missed something. So you take it off, you spill it, and it goes all down your foot, and it goes all down your front. And then a big chunk of it lands on your Crocs, right? Yeah. And then you just burn your foot because you've got a fucking hole in it. But you're all, you also then have ventilation, which means it's a lot easier to cool and heal afterwards. I don't care. I've just burnt my foot. If I had, if I, if I had shoes on, it wouldn't have happened. I like how you went with the hot soup option, whereas my biggest thought was, chefs have large knives. <laughs> Drop a large knife off the counter, through the hole, in the crock, goodbye too. I, I mean, the reason I, would, the reason I didn't go through the knives option is because... Um, I mean, if, if if there's a hole enough, a hole big enough for the point of that large knife to go through, right, maybe it's not a croc. Maybe you just got a holy shoe. That's a fair okay, point. Okay, you're just calling a croc. And the croc itself is like, what, plastic or some shit? Yeah, um, there's some weird plasticky rubbery yeah, nonsense. Yeah, yeah so, so the knife at best is going to bounce off that. If it goes on a shoe, it's going fucking through that shoe. It might, <laughs> yeah. it might. I, nah, I see. I, yeah. Who wins in a fight uh, if both of them are wearing Crocs. Is it Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Uh, <laughs> I want to. Yeah. I want to see them fighting Crocs. From now on. Nah, yeah, fuck it. I want to see them fight, fighting in one Croc and one high heel. No, can we see them fight using Crocs so instead of wearing them? That instead of wearing boxing gloves, they're just holding Crocs and smacking fuck out of uh, each other. Uh, the, the, the slap contest. <laughs> yeah, the but hand. with Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> just put the hand in the Croc. It's illegal if one of your fingers pokes through the hole of the Croc while yeah. you're slapping. <laughs> I don't know why my brain goes off on these weird tangents. I just keep thinking of, hmm, what could be today's title? And, f- and thumbnail. <laughs> Jake, Paul be- Jake Paul getting smacked with a croc. Uh, no, no, no. This title, the title of this one's called Jake, Jake Paul v. Tommy Fury with crocs. Uh, <laughs> Jake, uh, was it Paul v. Fury 2, <laughs> Revenge yeah, of the Paul, Croc? Yeah, Paul v. 2, v. 2, Revenge of the Croc. Yeah, no, we're done. Revenge of the title. Croc. Titles Ty- sorted. We can peer. We can peer our graphic designer to put Tommy Fury and Jake Paul in Crocs. Done. Oh, can we? Uh, Fucking how much? And how much is said graphic designer getting paid? I have no idea. It all depends on the quality. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, I'm the fucking graphic designer, <laughs> and I'm looking to get paid. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Uh, we've said graphic designer often enough if we put that in the title when I tweet it out as well we might get a few new followers oh no but then again we're going to get a few messages going do you need one that's fine I can ignore them I'll click the notifications that say new follower and ignore the ones that say DM to your show ah uh, dear well anyway enough of uh, Crocs and everything else do you have a ones to watch for us for this week Dan? Honestly, no, because I haven't been on Twitch for like the past week because I've been playing Diablo. It's fine. I haven't got one either because I've not been. Uh, in fact, you know something. Um, go follow Aberdeen FC Esports and there watch back the the broadcast from the Saturday. Uh, <laughs> give me some likes out of it instead. Um, <laughs> apologies again to everyone for the fact that this one's a day late and that we didn't release a show last week. It's all my fault. I I didn't edit properly from last week and I didn't want to record yesterday because I was too fucking tired. Um, the, these are literally all my fault. Dan is always ready to go. I am the inconsistent, inconsiderate twat when it comes to the podcasts. Dan is the inconsistent, inconsiderate twat when it comes to live streams. Exactly. So, we've, we've, you know, we've got like, you know... Yeah, we keep each other in check. Oh, that's hilarious. But the whole thing is, like, you, when, when, like, even though you're inconsistent with the podcast, you still you still come to the podcast. I just don't stream. That's a fair point. At least I still appear at these things, eventually. You know, um, right. I, what, 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 sorry, like, go for it. Just go for a little tangent here. It's like, Joe, on Friday when Diablo 3 came out, I was like, oh, I should stream Diablo 3. <laughs> It is. I was like, I should stream it. It'll be fantastic. Go like, see how many power going levels, how many greater riffs I can do in that one stream. And I was like, yes, go do it. As soon as as soon as it started, we were like, shit, I was meant to stream this. Yeah, six hours later, I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but believe me, I didn't start. I, I, Diablo three started at four. Yeah. PM on Friday. I didn't come off Diablo three till three the next morning. Nine, no, eleven hours later, Dan. Yeah, eleven hours later, I didn't, I, I didn't come off that. I mean, I, I stopped for food. I had food. Don't get me wrong. I had uh, food. Oh, so does that mean technically, by by snacking through the night and not sleeping, you suffered from insomnom nom nom nomnia? <laughs> <laughs> Link to that TikTok will be in the chat down below. I have broken Dan before by sending it to him. Now I appear to have broken him again by letting him discuss it here on the show. <laughs> it's om nom 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 near. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> we'll be back in a week's time. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Mwah. Peace.